Hey YouTube, it's Creeper Freak. I am back with another Nerf review. Today I will be reviewing the Nerf Rapid Strike. Which I'm going to move back a little bit. This strap is large. Um, this is really late, but I don't care. Rapid Strike is still amazing. He's an amazing blaster. It's very fun to use. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna hack this. So, like all my other videos, I'm going to go do an overall, an overview, front to back, firing, and then opinion and stuff like that. Sorry, I have stuff in this. But, um, let's start from the front. It's got a air strike barrel attachment, but I don't see why you want one on this blaster. Because it is so freaking giant. And, uh, but if you want to, you can throw a recon barrel on here and flip this little iron sight down. I think it's pretty cool. It's got a flip-up iron sight. I personally like it up when there's no barrel attachment on there. And when I put a barrel attachment, I flip that down and flip the iron sight on the retaliator barrel or whatever barrel I'm using up. If it has one. So, um, moving down, it's got a sling attachment here. And it's get and it's got tack rail, tack, tack rail, tack rail, and tack rail. That's that's four in literally this much. You guys can't see it. Um, where is it? Where's that tack rail? Right here. This this much space, and there's four tack rails. Which I think is really nice because you can put like a foregrip. You need your right ear or left ear. You can put it on either side. Like I don't like how the Raven only has it on the right side. Because I like to have a flashlight here on this side. I'm a righty. So I can flip it on and off really fast. I don't have to reach over my blaster and flip it on and off. It's so annoying. It's just what I think. And then um, moving back. It's got a little tunnel thing. Where it's got iron sights where you can line them up if you look down the barrel. Or down, not the barrel, but down here. There we go, I lined it up. Right there. We'll think the ends of we'll flip that iron sight so it's a clean shot to do here. Then to your iron sight. I think it's really cool, but so many people don't. But whatever. And it's got a very comfortable grip here. By the, by the way, if you want to not use a four grip. It's very comfortable. And uh, moving on, it's got you know standard magwell where you can see me, see it. So this is very reflective. You can see me holding it through there. See that reflection. And it's got your access door that is clearly tinted, by the way. It's really nice. That's why it was reflecting. It's a really nice touch, so you can just clearly see if you're loaded or not. You don't have to open up your access door and like peer in. You can just look and you just load it or not. It's got your standard Nerf logo on both sides, so they weren't being lazy on this blaster. And like on my Retaliator. But I think it's just mine, because I, I see everyone else's review on the Retaliator. Theirs has a lot more white paint than mine, which I think is kind of weird, but whatever. But um, yeah, it's got two sling mounts here. That's two of them. Don't know why, but whatever. Got another one down here. And it's, uh, staying in this general area. It's got your standard rub trigger. Your standard rub trigger. And it's got a mag release, which is right here, which is really comfortable. You can either extend out your, your middle finger or use your thumb. I prefer using my thumb, because it hurts my, the back of my middle finger to use that. Because I didn't operate my sling fire in a while. Tough my finger up. Toughens up my finger, stuff like that. <clears throat> and then to the very back, it's got this nice little cheek rest, which is really nice and comfortable. And it does have the extended stock, which I totally prefer with the extended stock. And to collapse it, you push this little orange a bit down and slide it back, and it collapses. There's only two stages, and that was really loud, but there's only two stages, which is kind of a bummer, it was just kind of a bummer, but whatever. It's very comfortable with cheek rest. You, look, you can look on your iron sights. And it won't actually rev without having the um, mag in, which is a mechanical and electronic lock, which I can fix. So I'm just loaded up a little mag here. 
as you can see, it revs up pretty quick. And um, if you guys are unaware, this takes four C batteries, and they're in the very front. You unscrew these three screws, and you got your battery tray. And um, also, if you're unaware, um, this is full auto. I see people commenting on like Coop's videos and stuff like that, saying, "Why would you minimize your rapid strike? Just go buy a strike." This is full auto, a strife is not. There you go. There's the reason why. So, um, yeah, let's do our firing test. So, um, yeah, as you guys can see, this is my new firing area. It's in my living room. So, I'm going to fire off a full 18 round mag. I did get the double, the two times pack where it came with 32 darts and two clear mags. It comes with one standard, but it's like 10 bucks more, so I think it's worth it. Yes. Yes, you can see the ricochet. I can see it in there. It's pretty funny. You can see the ricochet. So, yeah, that's my review on the Nerf Rapid Strike. Overall, I think this blaster is amazing. <clears throat> yeah, y'all heard that. This blaster is amazing, in my opinion. I mean, it's rather large for what it does, but it's full auto. Mine's really loud, and I'm going to take it apart and lubricate it, and while I'm at it, I'll probably mod it. While I'm at it. Y'all want out. Um... They do have an XD version where instead of having this orange, it's white. It's kind of odd, but I like those colors. I like these colors too. These colors are really cool. I like the. I like how it's not the same as the other elite guns. Like, let's say my Alpha Trooper is white and uh, blue and white. The strong arms are blue and white. The red is blue and white. As loud. The triads blue and white, the jolts blue and white, the retaliators blue and white. This breaks it up. This is amazing. This is really cool. If I do I think it's worth your money. Uh yes, you plan on modding it. The locks are irritating, like I can't rev it. The jam door open. Like I can. Actually no, I can't with my stripes, I really don't care. I don't feel like taking it out. I can't lift my Raven though. Well, my Raven is even active in the access door, so whatever. You can't rev it without a clip in, which is a little lock. You know, if you get two fingers in here, you can push this clip lock. Just found it. Alright, so when I take it apart, I'm going to sit there. If you guys are wondering, it's, I push a little white button and it revs. But, um, yeah, I do believe that this is worth your money, if you have it. Like I did, I had 50 bucks to buy this with the extra clip. It's like 40 without the extra clip, but, I mean, you get two mags and three shirts. I think it's a good deal, personally. But, um, yeah, you guys should totally take a look at this. At least take a look at the XD version. I think it runs a little smoother. It runs a little smoother than this one. Don't quote me on that, I really don't know that. <clears throat> don't go and tell it, say like, oh, Creeper Freak said this and that. I, I don't know, I don't have it. I don't know anyone that has it. I mean, my friend who mods a lot and is working on a commission for me, probably right now, does not grab straight. He used it when he came to my house and we hung out and we had a nerf work. And he loved, he loved it. He hated the locks in it though, but he, he loved it. So, um, oh, yeah, and on that line, uh, I do have a commission for me. My friend is doing it, as I previously just said. It's an Alpha Trooper. I mean, I, that's all I'm saying right now in next week's video. He said it'd be done by today, so hopefully I either swing by his house or, swing by my, or he'll swing by my house. And, um, I do not know if he's open for commissions. I do not ask him that. He doesn't have, he does not have a YouTube channel. He does have a Facebook channel, but, or not Facebook channel, Facebook account, but, um, 
Yeah, and I am working on a commission. It's my modded retaliator over there. More coming up on that. Probably next week's video as well. I'll probably make two videos next week. One for my Alpha Trooper. Another for my commission that I'm doing for my friend. About 30 bucks. It's going to be really cool. It's going to look rad. So, um, yeah. This is totally worth y'all's money. If y'all have the money for it. So, like, favorite, subscribe. Um, friend me on Xbox. It's about, it's about the same name. Follow my Twitter account. Um, my Instagram is MattH1450. If you guys want to follow me on there. And, uh, everything that is good, do it. Share with your friends. Tell everybody. Hopefully I gain a lot more subscribers. Get blasters sent by Hasbro, like Drac, and... Because he gets sent blasters, because he's awesome. So, um... Yeah, see y'all in my next video. Woo!